Thank you for the application. Uh, this is not a question, but only a suggestion that in our future IEC conventions, to have a specific or deeper job or deeper understanding regarding uh, interpretation of contracts as well as liabilities of parties involved in construction management. I would suggest that in our future conventions we will be including the legal aspect in interpreting contracts and other laws applicable during the construction management. Thank you. Well, I think that's a good answer. I thought I will have my last lecture today. In the next mid-year convention, I will discuss about construction management if whoever will become the president will agree with it. I agree with you. Then many of the cases in construction that I said I've been involved with, even in the court or in the arbitration board, it is an innocent of the system of the interpretation of the contract. The slot in one of the cases I said, Piniman sa yung mayari, hindi siya pinabayari. Tapos yung nabayaran na, sabi niya, in-approve yun, nabayaran na ako pagkatapos mag-complain kayo. They don't, they don't know the contract. Even if you are paid as a contractor, and you did wrong, it's a part of the contract that says you are still responsible and must be unfairable for it. In fact, the 10% relation when released after completion, in two or three months, there is what you call a guarantee bond that says within a year or more, if something went wrong and it's because the way you did it, it is unfairable, you are still unfairable, and it is chargeable of case, the guarantee bond, which among everybody, among the uh, developers are not asking for a security bond or a guarantee bond that says it is a callable bond, meaning to say, and an owner, the developer, pag sinabi niya ito, gawin mo, hindi mo ginawa, gagawin niya yan, charge ako lang yung demand, and the insurance company will run a free. Those are documents, very important. Documents like plan. Anong pa ninyo kung ilang days ang architectural plan when you read it? Are you aware of how many plans Six, ang structural plan, ang electrical, mechanical, sanitary. O alam mo na, what, how can they become documents? For every plan that you get, if you are a reader, sign all pages. That is contract documentation. Pages so that when I say in court or the arbitration, it to you. What can be the difference of a business plan and a construction plan? When did you receive it and how did you perform about it? Are you aware of the different key plans that go in between a construction plan and a business plan? So that you will have the final plan, the aspect plan. Document where is no court can say that is wrong. That's why I learned po a proper documentation. The minutes of the meeting that you do every week are their time. All the members that are there, then kung di po firmado yan, that is not acceptable in court. Kayo ba, alam niyo ang logbook? Do you have, know how to prepare a logbook? A real logbook that can be acceptable in court, which I think many cases have been decided because of that. Are you aware of that? If I will be given the chance to discuss a construction contract, in fact, I am invited in Cebu in February 11 and 13 to talk about construction documents. Contract. And I think, kung nagawa po yun, I will be discussing that to the PIC group. There are so many things you must be aware of a plan. I hope you have a contract. And all the things that you do is a part of that contract. Everything that you have done during construction is a part of the contract. All the minutes of the meeting are a part of the contract. All the key plans that you prepare to see the difference between a construction plan and a big plan is a part of the contract. 
How do you prepare things over, whether positive or negative? It is two to document. The difference between the big plan and the construction plan are the difference are the change order, whether positive or negative, but it must be properly documented. As I said, these are being discussed every week. Management meeting. If you are a project manager, have you ever prepared a monthly report? Have you ever seen a bunch of being done every day? If you are not, you don't know that, marami pa kayong hindi alam. A scheduled budget health card is being done every day. Hindi po every day, every month. The field engineers that I said in my last or two lectures, the workforce for construction, they are the field people that do that on a day-to-day -day monitor and project manager will go late and say, boy, delay ka na ng 5%, or delay ka na ng 10%, delay ka na ng 15%, and for every billing, there must be that bus card, S card, mom power setup that must be a task, part of the document of the billing, so that you will be aware, and that is part of the contract. Anything that you do, anything that you document, during the first day up to the last day of construction is a part of the construction contract. So I hope be aware of that and I've given a chance I would really want to discuss a construction contract. Thank you. Okay, thank you.